In this video, I'll be showing you the latest way to set up the Facebook Pixel, now known as the Facebook Dataset, so that you can easily track the conversion of your Facebook and Instagram ads. Okay guys, it's your boy Christian Omeji of Optic Digital Hub and just like I said in this video, I'll be showing you the latest way to set up the Facebook pixel which is now known as a Facebook data set so that you can easily track conversions on your Facebook ads. So previously on this channel, I have done a video on how to set up the Facebook pixel on your website so that you can easily track conversions when you run your Facebook ads. But as we know, Facebook is a platform that usually changes a lot of stuff on their platform over time and in recent time they have changed the way you set up the pixel and they introduced what they call the data set. So with the data set it covers almost everything which includes your website, your app and other of their assets within the Facebook business manager. I'm going to quickly show you how to do that and set it up on your website so that you can start effectively tracking the conversion of your adverts. So but before we do that, if you are yet to subscribe to the channel, now will be the right time for you to do so. So just click on the subscribe button, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell notification so you get notified when I drop amazing videos just like this. So that being said, let me show you how to do that today. Okay guys, so right here inside the business manager, all you just have to do is to first of all come to this point that says all tools and then you head over to business settings. So this is where you get to see the general settings for your business manager. So right here in the business settings, you just head over to this point that says data source just like we do create pixels. The normal way we do create pixels. I have a video on this channel that already shows how to create pixel. So now, when you click on pixel, normally you should see the point where you start creating your pixel. But right now, if you see what they say, they say copy paste pixel has a new location and we have made some changes to our platform. You can now find these assets in data sources under data sets. So if you look down here, you get to see this one that says data sets. So I believe with time, you get to see Facebook remove this pixel totally. But for now, they are trying to direct us that this is where pixels are you understand so if you look at it data sets so now what is data set from the facebook documentation area you get to see what they say data set allow you to connect and manage event data from different sources such as your website mobile app physical store location or business chat in one place so previously pixel setup was different mobile app setup was different and all others were different but right now they are trying to bring all of them into one place using the data sets so in order to create your data set just click here we'll be doing the one of website so you just name your data set whatever name you intend to give it just like the pixel i'll just name this for example Kobe. so just leave it this way then i'll just click on create so as you can see the pixel is already set up and if you look at right here just like normally this is your pixel id you can copy it and paste into whatever platform you are using i'm going to show you how to insert this same pixel on your wordpress so you might be using another platform which is not wordpress so you just either use the code or use the id so now i'll just click on this point that says open events manager so right here in event manager you can see they say your data set hasn't received any activity yet and that is because i have not connected it to any platform right now so there are various kind of connections you can do you can either do setup conversion api you can set up the pixel which is installing the code or putting the id on your website and others you can do here see if you have a mobile app you can link your data set to your mobile app and also for this shared data stored in spreadsheet but for we the one we are doing right here is to set up the pixel so and because i'm using wordpress i'll use an easy way which is we install the pixel code so i just click on set up meta pixel and you see this point that says install code manually you click on it there are other options where you can use partners to connect it on wordpress and even if you're using some other platforms for example 
let's see you see you uh, let's say you're using any of these platform events bright joomla and other stores you understand you can probably use partners but for me i want to just set up manually you understand which is kind of easier and faster so right now i'll just copy this piece of code and go and paste on the header section of my website so i'll copy it like this okay guys i know you are enjoying that video but quickly before we continue if you wish to get more customers for your business and increase your sales with facebook ads i have got two options for you it's either you contact me directly to help you set up high converting facebook ads or you can get my facebook ad mentorship program where i teach how to set up high converting facebook ads to increase your sales any of the options you wish to go for is dependent on you just click on the link on the description of this video to get access to me right now so we can get started that being said let's get back to the video then i'll go now to my wordpress website if you look this is my wordpress dashboard if you understand wordpress now then i'll go over to plugins and i'll click on add new plugin so right here on the plugin area just click for just search for insert header and footer but if you just search insert header so when you search insert header it's going to show you this one that says wb code insert header and footer you also see this one all of them work the same way you understand you can use any of them but for me i either use this one or this one but most preferably i like to use this so it depends on you but all of them works the same way so after installing i'll activate it and we'll head for the setup so as you can see now the plugin is already installed and activated if i show you right here as you can see this is a plugin it is called wp code light so you just locate the plugin from this options area and how do you locate this plugin just come over to this one that says code snippet can you see it and when you hover on it like this it's going to show you some options just click on this third one that says header and footer and as you can see this is the header section and remember we are supposed to paste that code on the header section so i just paste the code right here this is the code you understand and i just click on save changes so right now i'll need to go and activate it on the platform so right now there are ways you can know if this plugin is already installed on your website so as for me i use this tool which is called the facebook pixel helper if you look at it right here and send this meta pixel helper it shows if any website has a pixel installed so i'm just going to copy this my website and i'll check if the pixel is already on that website so this is the website i'll check as you can see here meta pixel records that there is one pixel on this website and if you check the pixel id then I'll let me go back to this point i'll just click here just click here and just go to this one that says overview and it's going to show you the general points so right now it's showing me that nothing is happening here but if you look at this id which ends with 9655 it is the same id here which ends with 9655 which means that pixel is already installed on this website so i'll just reload it on this pixel section so as you can see this pixel has already been installed just that it's here to start showing activity and that is because it takes facebook some time for the activities to start showing right here but you can test the event you understand if you come here you can test the event but firstly before we test the event you might want to just do the tracking on your page so how do you now track let's say you want to track for lead for purchase and all of that how do you do that now so now right here on this particular website so let me say i'm trying to track this get yours button as a lead button so all i just have to do is to copy the url of this website and just go to this point that says settings click on settings and scroll down scroll down on this settings area and you see this point that says open event setup tool just click on it and then you paste your url and just open it up so as you can see right now it's trying to show us what do we want to track on this particular website so let's say i'm tracking this button as a lead button so once i just click on it track button i'll click on it like this then they will say i should select the event so right now i want it to be a lead i just click on lead and 
I say okay, I don't want it to include any value because it's just a free lead. Then I just click on don't include value and I click on confirm now. And as you can see, it's already showing that this particular button is being tracked as a lead. So whenever somebody visits this page and click on this button, Facebook will track it as a new lead. So once you are done, just click on finish setup and you're done. Just click on finish and just submit it. And you are done so now you can then go over to the test events and then test it properly from the facebook angle to be sure it is working so just click on this point as you can see the url is here now i just open it up then you when you open it up it will open up in a new tab just go back and you see it has fired up page view which shows that page view has been recorded from the facebook dashboard so now once i click on this point it should also record a new lead so once I click here, so you can see on Facebook, it has been recorded as a new lead. You understand? So which means that my tracking, my pixel and everything has been set up effectively. I can now go and start setting up my conversion ads. You understand? So this is the simple way of using the Facebook data sets, which is the new way of setting up your pixel okay guys so that was it for that video i believe you got value from the video and if you did ensure that you are already subscribed to the channel if you are not so just click on the subscribe button subscribe to the channel turn on the bell notification so you get notified when i drop amazing videos just like this and also don't forget to like comment and also share these videos to people out there so that they too can also enjoy from this value that I have given to you today. So that being said, I will see you on the next video. Take care and have fun.